Hello, puzzle fans. It's me. It's Fenton. We're playing. Uh, we're playing Snicks. That's right. Snicks. It's like snakes, but with an I instead of instead of of of, of an A and no E. I made that really confusing for you, didn't I? Snicks. S N I K S. Snicks. By Shelley Alon. Alon. Sorry. I'm really bad with names. And reading. And saying. I'm bad at all of those. The eyes and, and the mouth ones. Let's go. I don't know anything about it other than that it looks really, really nice. Look at this snick. You see? Uh, look at that. Jelly. Ah, it makes an owl noise. It eats the strawberry. It's got this. Oh, I guess I did it. It's got. A, it's got a big old mouth. Uh, and it becomes happy when it eats the other. Oh, the pink one looks like it has to eat pink fruit. Here we got strawberries and uh, another fruit that I definitely know the name of. And uh, a pink apple. Pink lady, perhaps one of one of the best apples, in my opinion. So how do we... What's it, what's it telling me this for? Oh, I see. Cool. Uh, no, I pressed X. No, I didn't. I did press an X instead of, of not the X. Uh, so what are we going to do about this? It's funny. The way it goes into the corner is funny. We have to, you have to get both, but how can we get both? I suppose we can make it go back. Oh no! It didn't actually eat it. It just sort of absorbed it into its body. Okay, so it just has to cover all of the fruit. It doesn't actually eat it and become longer. Can it cover? It can do it. It doesn't like it though. Oh, that's sad. Okay. And then this one can go here and then this can go around. Okay. So basically they're racists. They're fruit racists. They want to stay within their own kind. Oh no, that... that why can't this... Can't move through, but it can leave. Don't understand that interaction. Oh, is it the faces? It's the faces, isn't it? Yes. Okay. The faces can't. They can't. Uh, what's the word I want? I want to say ameliorate, but I don't think that's correct. I think that's just a word that I like to say. Let's have a quick look, shall we? Google. Google, help me out here, Google. I've got this thing on my phone where I can squeeze it to activate the Google Assistant. And now I've activated it and it's, I'm talking to it about its own functionality. Ameliorate. To make better or more tolerable. Yeah, I see. I guess because ameliorative is the opposite of pejorative. Well, that taught me the thing that I just learnt from the previous level. What's that all about, game? Oh, I've gone too far. I can do it here, I see. That's good. That's nice functionality. Does the game not expect you to... That to me seems harder than the next level. This seems like it should teach you that you can move through them and then the next one should teach you that the faces can't interact. I don't know. Um, what about corners? How does it feel about corners? Yeah, I see. So corners are also a no-go because faces are still... You can't exit from a corner, but you can... Oh no, you can't. Yeah. But you can leave? Oh, I'm confused. So this doesn't work because... of why. Why? 
No, I don't understand. I don't understand what's happened there. I need to go back and, and, and work out exactly what the hell's going on here. So I can't... a face can be on a corner, that's not a problem. So is it... is it just... Uh, Zed does not undo, if you can imagine such a thing. There is no undo. That can't be right. I guess you don't need an undo because you can just manually undo the move you made, I suppose. I suppose. Right, let's get to grips with it, shall we? So I can enter here, that's fine. But I can't do this. And I can do this, but then I can't do this. Because... A, f a face can't move... So it's not that you can't have more than two squares over the jelly, but a face can't move... Th I'm calling it jelly even though they're snakes. They're jelly snakes, let's be honest. They're made of gelatin. A face can't move through... A face has to... the move has to either enter or leave the jelly, I think, is what is happening here. And the same with this. So this is not that the, the faces can't touch, admittedly, but... Yeah, I'm confused, to be honest with you. I can't find a, a nice, simple way of uh, ameliorating these this rule set. And again, I know I, I, that's the joke there is that I'm continuing to use the word incorrectly. So the problem we'll have here is that we want to move... Uh, they swell up even when you're just clicking, just... Uh, that's nice. Um, we can't pass... we can't move up or even to the left now, so we would have to do this. Which is fine. Hooray! Oh my god, this one has two colours. It looks like those uh, fizzy cola bottles, the the blue and pink one, the, the objective best one. Now I say this as a fan of fizzy cola bottles, right? Like, I'm not saying the other ones are bad, I'm just saying that the, the, the pink and blue fizzy sweets. If you don't know what I'm talking about, right, if you're from America or one of these other third world countries they have now, then there are these sweets, candy, if you will, and they're, they're sharp, they're tart, you know? Y y y they're covered in sugar, but the sugar like makes your face go like, Ugh. Um, And those are like my favourite kinds of sweets. I like the fizzy cola bowls, I like the, 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 the strips, the apple ones of those. Uh, they're not like bootlaces, I'm not, I don't mean those. Anyway. The best ones of all in all of that oeuvre are these colour pink and blue uh, fizzy cola bottles. So there we go. We've established that now. So I guess... Can a snick pass through itself? I guess there's no way of actually finding out in this level because they're all... No, I've gone too far. That's fine. I probably could have fixed it, but that's not what I wanted to do, and as such, my brain immediately uh, discounted. Wait, this is purple. Do I have to know basic colour theory here? But the faces can't match, right? So I'm going to have to... Oh no, I trapped him. I've, I've, I've trapped the snick. There we go, do this. Oh no, that still doesn't work, because now the faces can't... Restart. R doesn't restart. What? What is this? <laughs> How am I going to get this sorted? Quite easily, turns out. 
Oh no, wait, not easily at all. What? Wait, was that fine? Yeah, right. So, because it's on the... Yeah, the red and blue make purple. That level was easier, in a way. But mostly because I kind of forgot that they could just park on a corner. I probably made that a lot harder than it needed to be. Admittedly, but uh, whoa, that that screen has got a dark background, uh, or a light background. Sorry, I said the wrong word there. I, I know, yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm. I have a a thing. I'm pretty sure. What's that? Uh, aphasia, where you, you just forget words. You know, you click in your you click in your fingers, and you're like, oh, what's that? What's that thing? I have a story about that actually. Somebody came into the into the cafe and. Um, asked for a, a, a milk based drink and um, they said they said to me oh if possible can you make that with um, uh, make that with um, uh, diet coke and I just sort of was like um, took me like t 10 seconds to pass that sentence and I just said back to them diet coke and they said oh um, not that one um Skim, skimmed milk, skimmed milk, and I could, I could understand what their brain had done there. Like, diet coke is a diet version of coke, <laughs> and skimmed milk is like a diet coke version of whole milk, right? And yeah, that's the end of the story. Um, so even though, like, on the surface of it, it sounds totally baffling. Can you make my coffee with Diet Coke? What? I... Uh, then, having, you know, thought about it for a moment, understood exactly what they meant. And that level was easy. Oh, my days. Move out of the way. It's interesting to me that the mouth can go on. The, I guess it's not really the mouth, is it? Because there's no, there's no distinction. Is there any way? There's no. I guess it is. There's no way that you would get a fruit on a snake without it first crossing a mouth, unless the level started you in such a way. No, that's not true. Is it? There might be an edge case I'm struggling to think of. It's weird to me that the game actually lets you eat a fruit that the, the snick doesn't actually want. I'm seeing... Uh, there's some weird... Uh, oh no, this looks complicated. There's some weird uh, progression here. The, the learning curve is... is odd. So this has to be this but not necessarily with the fruit exactly there like that, to the point where it probably makes more sense to... There's also some weird stuff you can do with rearranging, right? Like, is there any way you actually get this? Yeah, there is, but you'd have to go all the way around, and not that way, the other way. I like it. I like it. I like how, in contrast to some other games, some other uh, movement tile-based games, it becomes it's it's obvious what you have to do. Like just looking at it. Oh, so this square needs to be covered with yellow. This square needs to be covered with blue, and this square needs to be covered with green. Uh, I played a lot of push. I played a lot more push blocks too after I finished the video. And some of the hard problem I had with the later levels, especially, was that. I mean, I guess in in push blocks too, you have to get all of the red blocks together and all of the blue blocks together. And, and when you look when, but that's such a high level goal that even sometimes I would look at a level for like ten minutes before I'd even 
think about what my first actual move would have to be because I'd be reverse engineering like well these red blocks need to go together but this is on these red blocks are all on this side of the screen behind this barrier and these ones are all on this side of the screen behind a conveyor belt that is moving the opposite direction and finding that finding the solved state that you could then work backwards from so I can solve it if I do this but I can't do this because of this so I need to fix this first and this first and this first and I'm, I'm not saying this is a criticism that is a very fun way of finding out puzzle solutions of course but it obfuscated the process quite a lot because it was sometimes you would you'd have to make an assumption and like Jelly No Puzzle that you would I ha I'm going to have to do it like this and you might spend 20-30 minutes trying that before realising oh actually this doesn't work whereas in this I just look at it and go right so a yellow one needs to I mean I'm sure it, it will get a bit more complicated than that in the future but the actual like end state So here we got a problem that, well it's not really a problem, so the yellow one is going to have to enter this square last because obviously the faces can't collide. Ah, we got to N! Let's go straight into N shall we, because I feel like they're, I think, feel like each letter might be a new mechanic. But I is locked, oh no. And were these in linear progression? No, it looks like I could do three or four in front in case one really stumped me. Let's go into N and see what that's all about. Dark holes! Eat the strawberry. Uh, it's interesting that, I mean clearly that's not the correct move. Oh no, I can't actually now. I guess I can undo that in a weird sort of way. Yeah, that you don't have to enter the same way that you... <laughs> is this one... yeah. I was going to say is this one attached to this, but there's only one black hole, so... As long as there's only ever one black hole in a level, I suppose you won't ever have that. I have to make a move first to work out what was even going on here. It's visually very nice. I am easily pleased in that regard, to be fair. Our minimalist flat design is... mostly. I'm such a sucker. I mean, you could show me like 12 screenshots of different puzzle games. And I'm pretty sure, even at this point, that bush shook. I'm pretty sure even at this point you could you could guess which ones I would be like, oh I like the look of that one, I like the look of that one. I'm a simple man. So the blue one has to be here and here through the hole, right? It has to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's get the red one out of the way. Wow, the red one It's funny that this makes it look like it's a real long boy. And then you do that and it's not. It's like uh, <laughs> it's like Rishi Sunak in his publicity photos. Rishi Sunak in real life. That's a very uh, low blow joke about his height, about the man's height. He's quite short. And uh, I have actually blocked myself, blocked myself off there. I'm sure this will come back to bite me, but it's not very difficult so far. Here's a good example. I have to work. I have to make a move here to work out which hole is connected to what. Well, that's exactly the kind of thing I was a bit worried would be a problem. But I suppose the cost of making a move is so low that it doesn't really bother anybody. So I can pull you down and then make a reverse like that. Uh, yeah, there's not too taxing so far might become a problem soon. I'm just drinking some coffee there. That was me drinking coffee. Proper, not proper coffee, so it was from a, it's from a mocha pot. 
So not instant coffee, but not espresso based coffee. The middle ground. Uh, and now I've confused myself here. Can I make this move? No. So even though it would move out of the way, I actually can't make that move. And I can't make that move for obvious reasons. Yeah. No, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh, it's close. It's close to making sense. No! No, and now I can't move the thing through the jelly twice. This is close to what I want. I need this. I just need this snack to be flat against the wall. I'm not. I'm not going to get that done. I have to restart. Probably. I probably don't have to, but it's going to be easier for me to restart. Yeah. Get you out of the way. Then I can put you flat against the wall. There we go. Now it's a no-brainer. There we go. Just confused myself at the beginning there. Even though I said, oh, it should be easy to uh, reverse engineer the end state. And as such, the game is simple. Uh, yeah, the blue one has to be down before anything else happens. Oh no, but the blue is only three long. It's not, it's not four long. All right, start again. Could be like this. Yeah, I just have to tie them together in a in a sensible way. It does actually make undoing not that easy with these black holes. Wait, that's not right either. What am I doing? What am I doing? What's the man? What's the man doing? One face has to go on like this. It, we it moved through twice. No, I'm not happy with that. No, I need to do this. No. There. That's what I want. Even though I'm still not, I'm still not really getting it in terms of the rules of the faces and the, and the stuff. Let's go back to the map. See if we unlocked the next world. Just gotten enough through. Not quite. What's this all about? I guess. Oh, there's so many. I just want to see the next mechanic. How long's this video been going on for? Thir 23 minutes. Right, that's gonna have to do. That's gonna have to do. Uh, this looks like a picture of a cactus and something, but I'm not doing one, two, three, four, five more levels, six more levels really. One of them will be a roadblock and the video will just drag on at the end for no reason. So that was that was Snix. I like it. It's on Steam. Probably is on other places. I will find links to the other ones, but of course I bought it on Steam. Um these are the credits. It's uh the price is good. The price is right. And uh, I'm going to have some fun with it, I would imagine. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm still furloughed. Uh, probably won't go back to work for at least all of March. So that's good for me. Obviously that's not good for me. It's very boring and dull. Uh, but I suppose I can't complain. And I shouldn't complain, really. Monster Train DLC is out soon. I'll see how I feel about it. Before, see what else they've done before I go headlong into that. Um, but expect a couple of videos on that, I suppose. And uh, I'm guest starring on Ninch's channel for Yu-Gi-Oh! Evolution. Now, 
You might be thinking, you've never expressed a single interest in children's card games, and uh, y you would be right. I did used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! in my youth, and uh, the series we're doing at the moment is going back to the very first booster pack and opening some of Legend of Blue Eyes and then making a deck, and then opening a bunch of the next booster pack and then making a deck. Uh, which is how I started, but I didn't get very far into that. I must have played Yu-Gi-Oh for about a year, and even then just casually in our group of friends, never really took it very seriously like I did with Netrunner. Um, so it's been fun, and of course I can do it all for free online, so take that, Konami. A uh, link to that will be in the description if a video is live. If a video isn't live, then uh, I'll just link Charlie and Ninjas' channel. And we'll go, you can go and check that out. Um, other than that, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more puzzle games in the future. And if you've got any recommendations for games, please let me know in the comments, or you can follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.